Hello, Internet. So, you don't need to adjust your screens because this redness is because I've been scrubbing my skin raw because I just experienced probably one of the most cringe things. So, I was at one of my favorite restaurants and I was sitting there in a corner booth and it's nice and it's you know, a very lovely Indian restaurant and they just moved to a new location and redecorated and they've got all these like weird potted plants that glow and it's really lovely and I go there a lot because it's close to my house and they have really good food and I'm sitting there at the table and we've ordered our meal and I'm with my, my family and suddenly one of the twins looks up at the wall and says, It's a bug! And I turn around, there's this cockroach on the wall behind me. It's about a foot and a half away from my head. And then I notice that there's another one, like down below on the, on the back of the booth that I'm sitting in. And so there are two that I can see, and then suddenly I see another one skittering across towards me on the booth and so I I don't necessarily like being in close proximity to bugs but I don't mind them like in general I have a phobia of spiders but I'm getting over that somewhat <laughs> I don't know if you ever really get over a phobia but I'm at least able to kill them myself instead of screaming like a little girl and running away but cockroaches And I can't. I can't. I can't even. No. Too many feels in the bad way. No. And so I'm sitting there trying not to freak out and scare the four year old <laughs> twins that I'm sitting with who are already kind of afraid of bugs. And I'm not hiding it from the adults who are with me. My sister, she's like, are you okay? I'm like, no, not really. Uh-uh, not at all. So the waitress comes up, and we tell her, like, I think that's a cockroach over on the wall. She doesn't say anything. She looks at it. She looks closer. She comes back. She, she doesn't say anything. And then she walks away. We're like, what the hell? We just told her there were cockroaches in a restaurant. And then she comes back with a napkin, a paper napkin. She walks over and she smashes the cockroach on the wall. And the one, like, right below it on the booth. And then she just walks away. She, like, looks down in the lamp to see if there are any more. And then she walks away. She doesn't say anything the whole time. And then I see the third one coming toward me. And so I take some of like the napkin from my niece and I squash the sucker and then I leave it in a little ball on the seat beside me because I'm freaking out and then I'm trying to not think about how bad the infestation must be in this place so that they're just in the restaurant not even like just back in the kitchen they're in the restaurant they're in the restaurant proper. How, how bad does that infestation have to be that they're in the restaurant proper and your guests tell you about the cockroach and you just kill it with a napkin? And you don't say anything. You don't say, oh, I'm so sorry, I'll take care of it. Nothing, nothing, no communication, just I'm killing it. And then of course we had to explain to the four-year-old why she killed the bug. Oh my god. I, I'm i just so perplexed at the, the running of this business, which is like a family business. <sighs> so anyway, our food comes and I'm like picking through everything, trying not to think, are there cockroaches in my food? <laughs> I ate my food, everyone ate their food, the food was delicious, and it looked cockroach-free. Uh, but... 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh. I'm sorry. Cockroaches are just, that's where I draw the line at my choice of restaurant. If you have a cockroach, I'm sorry. I'm not coming back. No matter how good your food is. Oh. So that was my night. So as soon as I got home, I scrummed like I was in Gattaca and threw my clothes into the washing machine, everything I was wearing, just into the washing machine because, you know, I know that there's no way that I could possibly, like, not know if a cockroach was crawling on me. But there's that little seed in my head that's like, oh my god, they're gonna get everywhere. And no, no, just no, world of no. Epic fail on the on the part of the restaurant. Epic fail. Epic fail. So, I know any good Indian places in Seattle that are roach free? Let me know, cause I'm uh never know. So my best friend always tells me that I have really interesting problems. And I don't know if she's right, but I do seem to have a lot of really weird things and unfortunate things happen to me or around me or toward me. It's just, it's, it's strange. Uh, so I'm chalking it up to the fact that I'm a little strange and I attract the strange. That's, that's my, uh, that's my take on it. So, if you likewise <laughs> attract the strange, unusual, unfortunate, clumsy mess that uh, encompasses my life, uh, you know, leave me a comment down below <laughs> so that we can commiserate. Because uh, I can't be the only one who attracts really weird things that happen to them. Because if I am, then I should get a movie deal or something. Just have people follow me around, documentary style, all the time. Gotta capitalize on this in some way if I'm the only one. But I don't think that I am. I think that there are more of you out there. So let me know. We'll commiserate. And if you like my video, please subscribe or give me a big thumbs up below and... I'll make more of this kind of vlog in the, in the future. See you soon. That was, uh, that was my rant for the evening. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. And so now I'm just itchy all over at the idea that I'm, like, covered in cockroaches. I'm not, I know I'm not, but I can't tell that to my skin because it's crawling all over the place and I just can't get it to stop. No, it's not going to stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. shit over left and right what the hell so one other thing that I wanted to tell you is that for four years now my sister and I have been co-writing a book and tonight we sent our first draft to be read by a group of beta readers that we have hand selected who we hope will <laughs> be kind but I am so excited culmination of four years of effort and it's finally done well not done done but our first draft is done celebrate 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 so 
If you ever think that you can't do it, you can't write a book, you can't do anything because you don't have the time, it took me four years, four years, with someone else working with me to write a book. But it's done, and I feel accomplished, and working on the book still feels really good, so if you don't think you can do it, just look, I did it. Anyone can do it. See you soon.